Copper sulfate is a compound of copper. Copper sulfate solution contains copper two ions and sulfate ions. A solution is added to copper sulfate solution to show the presence of copper two ions. Name the solution added and give the result of the test. Well, this type of reaction is called a precipitation reaction. The ions that are present in copper sulfate are dissolved at the beginning, they are aqueous, and then we add something to that solution which results in an insoluble solid forming, and that insoluble solid is a precipitate. And we've been asked to name the solution that we should add here, and so that means that a formula by itself will not be acceptable. And so the substance that gives a result that shows the presence of copper 2 is sodium hydroxide. What happens is the hydroxide ions from the sodium hydroxide react with the copper ions from the copper sulfate and we make copper hydroxide. And copper hydroxide is an insoluble solid called a precipitate and it is blue. And so the result that we would need to share here is that this is a blue precipitate. And unfortunately for questions like this, you need to get the name of the solution correct in order to get the credit for the result that you would observe. So it's really, really important that you remember the names of the chemicals that you add to test for each of the ions. And then we're asked to describe one test to show the presence of sulfate ions in copper sulfate solution and give the result of the test. So this is effectively the same thing here except that they haven't really directly asked us to name the chemicals, but effectively it's the same thing. Because when we're testing for sulfates, we need to know that sulfate ions react with another type of ion to make a new precipitate. And the ion in question is the barium ions, because what happens is the barium ions react with the sulfate ions to make barium sulfate. But just like in the previous question, you're not allowed to say barium ions because you can't get a bottle of simply barium ions. What you would get is you would get a solution of barium chloride. And this barium chloride is normally acidified. But I don't think that's necessary here because this is only a two mark question. And so in other circumstances, you might expect to say barium chloride solution and hydrochloric acid for two marks, and then the result is that you would see a white precipitate. Again, you need to have the test to match the results. If you give the wrong test but the correct result, you won't get the mark here. And whilst that seems harsh, it's actually reasonable because quite a lot of the precipitates that you observe in GCSE chemistry are white, and so if in doubt, it probably is a white precipitate, but you need to get the correct chemical test that would give that result.